Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create time-lapse videos in Corel Video Studio X6, 7. I believe it will work in 8, which is coming out in a few weeks. And also, I believe it will work in X5. I'm not sure about the other versions, though. Um, let me just jump into it, though. Uh, right here, the first thing you're going to want to do, go to Settings, Preferences, or press F6. Go to Edit. Go down to automatically add transition and untick that. You do not want that to be checked. Uh, I'll show you why really fast. Uh, if this is checked and you bring in, I'm going to go, from, this is timeline view. Uh, when you're actually adding your original clips, go to storyboard view if it's more than one clip. Uh, it's, just, it's just easier. So you can see it added all of these transitions okay well if I come in here and I'm gonna time-lapse this first one it lets me go to a thousand if I come to the second one it only lets me go up to 993 uh, percent that's going to make your video um, ununiformed and non-uniform so I am going to remove all of this I'm going to press F6 and take that transition out. Now I'm going to drag these back in here. Now with none of them in here, I can come up here. All you do is you click on the video and you're going to hit speed time lapse and you can take it all the way up if you want. That's what I do. You can notice, you'll notice now I took those transitions out and it's back at a thousand percent and I'm just going to do that for all of these up to a thousand and now I have two hours of video at 12 minutes and 22 seconds and magically Boom. I've rendered it. I'm at almost 1222. Uh, so I'm at 1221 now. And okay, so I have me a, a time lapse video that is. It's. It can be used as it is at 1221. And if you want to, you can also say, hey, I don't want to make a video that long. I want it to be no longer than five minutes. Or you could say, I'll have a song and I want it to fit that song. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let you see how this video looks. Uh, I'm going to find a, a part right here. Let me get to where I want it exactly. So 54 seconds. Now I'm going to add a marker at 54 seconds and I'm going to come right here before I put that brown in. Let's just say 240. That will do our everything the way I want it. So I'm going to click here, press F5, and I put that in there. Um, so now I know I have two points, and I can go back to them later. Okay, so I want to have the entire video don't don't worry about those points that's that is just for later right now I want to have the entire video as long as a song so I'm gonna pick a song I'm gonna drag it down here and I'm gonna say okay I want my video to match the song I happen to know that the song is six minutes long okay so I'm gonna come up here I'm going to hit speed time lapse and I'm going to come into new clip duration. 
I want to hit six minutes and I'm at the on clip I'm on the clip and I'm going to hit all the way to the end of that clip I'm going to come over here and drag this all the way up the zoom all the way up and make sure that these two are at the same point so now that that's like that <clears throat> I know that my video is actually going to be it's 206 percent plus the thousand percent that was already there so it's at like 260,000 206 yeah 260,000 or something I don't I don't know <laughs> anyway um, I'm gonna find the example of the dog and it was at 54 seconds well now it's at 26 seconds and the same point is at about a minute and 21 so you can see how fast that makes it well this now is fit to this music and just to let you see that the music is in the original tuning and everything okay well what if you want to have your video be no longer than five minutes say your crowd of people that watch your videos don't watch anything you do over five minutes I've noticed this a lot with my videos you go in you go double click on your music file uh, then you can go to speed time lapse on the music itself and you can hit five minutes on that and that's going to make them exactly the same length and now what i can do is i'll play that for you again you notice it sounds a little different that's because the faster that you make a piece of music, or the faster you make any sound, the higher pitched it's going to be. The lower, or the, the slower you make the sound, the lower the pitch will be. So, if I made this 10 minutes, and I made this 10 minutes, it's going to be slower and lower pitched and you can do that and it's going to stay in tune with itself no matter if you speed it up or slow it down so let's take the music out let's make this back at a hundred percent and let's get back to those things I put in okay you want to have a tutorial okay say I want to make a tutorial and in the first part I'm telling what I'm doing then I want to time lapse it and then I want to have another part of the tutorial where I'm telling what I'm doing okay well that's where your chapter marks come in now you can hold shift and press this or this to get to the next chapter mark or the beginning or end so you can see it'll go to the end it'll go to that chapter mark like so now I'm going to go to this first chapter mark and I'm going to say I want in between those two chapter marks to be time-lapsed so you can hit S at that point or you can just click the the scissors up here hold shift go to the next one hit S again now I can come in here and I can say okay this is going to be the time lapse let's take that and put it there now you do not have to go in and actually put a transition in if you're cutting a clip time lapsing it and then cutting it back you don't have to put a transition in it's very easy to go through and do it this way without the transition and it looks fine uh, if you're using 
music or whatever with it, or if you have an audio track that's in the video itself, then it, what you might want to do is crossfade the audio if it's a possibility. Sometimes it will mess up what you're actually doing. So, uh, what I want to do here is go back and undo that now. And I am going to leave those at the same points, which let's, let me find out what they were. Uh, Fifty-four seconds and two minutes and forty seconds. Okay, so there's another way to do this, and this automatically takes all music out. So I can go to variable speed, and I can say I know I need to go to fifty-four seconds. So I am going to take this and slowly get as close to fifty-four as I can. And then I'm going to zoom in and put it right on 54. Okay, I'm going to double click here. I'm going to drag it over now. Alright, and then I'm going to come one over. Oops. Alright, I'm at 54 seconds. I'm going to go one frame over, so I'll use this one. And I'm going to add another keyframe. Okay. So now I am going to go to uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. I'm going to zoom out again. And I'm going to come over here to 240. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm on 240, so I'm going to add a keyframe, go one frame back, and add another keyframe. Now, on this keyframe, I am going to take, and I'm going to speed that up to 1,000. I'm going to go to the previous keyframe, and I'm going to speed that up to 1,000. And now, what I have just done is if I take, if I take this... I hit play it's going to be at normal speed whatever that normal speed is when it hits that you can watch the the 100 here and the normal or the slider boom it's at a thousand percent the reason you have to do two keyframes is if you have and boom it's back at a hundred percent if you have a keyframe here and then you have a keyframe here. And this one is at a hundred percent. This one is at a thousand. Okay, let's make this a thousand. Now, if I'm right here, watch the slider. As I go from this point to this point, it's getting faster and faster until I get to it. And then when I get there, it, it gets slower boom so it's a gradual thing it's not something that it does immediately so that's that's why I like cutting the video however this is seamless there's no way that it's going to mess up your your audio or anything it takes the audio out so it can't mess it up um, and if there was any chance that it would mess it up where you need it to have some sort of transition effect, this will absolutely take that whole possibility out. So if I press OK, now up to right here, it's going to be at the normal speed. And when I get here, boom, it's fixing to take off. Just like that. And it's just like the other one, like I said. Uh, so that's two or three different, that's, well, there's two different ways that you can do it. Uh, and I believe that is about it. Now, just to show you how uh, 
a project that I've worked on works like that you can take it uh, I've, I've got this one already created and I've got an intro on it and I've put in my uh, music down here and fit it to the the proper length I've got title tracks on here to where if you look over here it's got pencils here and as I get over here it has inking so I've actually got that all done and everything uh, now uh, the the transitions I use in this particular project are for some reason it it slows down the whole video I'm not sure what's up with that it, it freezes it when I go past one so but anyway that is how I do the time-lapse videos and if you're going to do like I done and export a video and then import it back and use it to speed up even further I would suggest using a format that is at 60 frames per second uh, let me just go here and show you in the share you, there's two things you can install this thing under AVI that's called Lagareth Lossless uh, you can just come in here and you can set this up however you want this will make it to where it's going to be a ginormous size file but it will be at lossless quality and then you can go in and you won't have any problems getting uh, like really bad quality loss because you're processing it twice also you can go to the built-in ABC H264 choose the the regular one for me it would be 720p uh, 18 megabytes per second I also have this one here that's the um, 729 that is what I would export to if I was going to use this for a final video for this one I would go with the larger one uh, if you're going to do it with MPEG it's going to mess it up a little bit it's going to really reduce that quality uh, but you know it's got a built-in for a built-in setting down here anything that's on this setting here these automatically upload to YouTube perfectly uh, there's nothing wrong with them and they look great once they're on YouTube as long as the original video looks great so uh, that is it I tried to make this in under 10 minutes it was just impossible to do so I think that's everything if there's any more questions Feel free to ask. I will try to do more um, and explain it in any way I can. That's all, and see you later.